Hey everyone, it's Evangeline here at eTrailer and today we're taking a look at the Rhino Rack roof rack with the 46 inch long vortex bars, the 2500 feet for naked roofs, as well as the custom fit kit for your 2019 Ford Fiesta sedan. Now the Fiesta comes in different sizes and shapes. What we have here is the four door sedan. And if you need a little extra space for maybe more cargo or you wanna carry around fun accessories like a kayak or maybe a roof box or a roof basket, what you first need is a roof rack system. So this is gonna be the system from Rhino Rack. It's your sporty, rugged system. You have different features like your integrated locks and your custom fit kit for your vehicle. So we'll talk about that and how it fits the Fiesta. With this having the 46 inch long bars, you have a more low profile, not as much overhang style of a roof rack. So for smaller vehicles like sedans, that's actually a good thing because if you have long crossbars, you're gonna be hitting your head when you get into the vehicle. So for your overhang, you're gonna have about an inch in the front and an inch and a quarter in the back. You measure from the tower to right before the end cap. So here we have our roof clearances. So depending on what type of cargo you're carrying, you might need more, you might need less. So measuring from the top of the roof to the bottom of the crossbar, it's at two and three eighths of an inch for clamps. So your clamps that go around the crossbar, some people have U-bolts with wing nuts. You might want a little bit more clearance than that, so keep that in mind, get those low profile clamps. Next is gonna be the height added to the top of your roof. This is where your cargo is gonna sit. So that's gonna be three and a quarter inches up from the center of your roof. So if you have skis, snowboards, especially skis with extra tall bindings, three and a quarter isn't that much. You may wanna check out accessories that give you that extra lift. At the end of your vortex bars, you're gonna have these plastic end caps. So to lock them, you have your special plastic key. But when you take the end cap off, you have access to your T-Track. So that's helpful because then you can use T-Track mount accessories. I do recommend getting extras of these because you are gonna have to cut them to size. Also, you do have the ability to upgrade to metal lock cores if you want to. Those are sold separately. You do have metal lock cores on the towers though. So you're gonna have four of these lock cores and you're gonna get two keys. They're all key to like. Opening up that end cap on the tower, you then get access to your fit kit, which has a special Allen wrench actually to tighten that down. So everything's gonna be included with your kit to install it. Although I do re recommend grabbing maybe some tape measure to help you out. What types of accessories can you carry with this roof rack? Well, you do have a crossbar spread limited to 27 and, well, I guess a 28 inches apart. Compared to other cars that have raised rails where you can adjust them, this one is not adjustable, so check out your accessories. Make sure they fit within that crossbar spread. You also have a weight capacity of 165 pounds, although remember to add the weight of your cargo, the weight of the carrier, the weight of your roof rack, and make sure it doesn't exceed your actual roof weight capacity. Now we're ready for the install. So grab your tape measure, maybe grab some scissors. You have your tools included, and let's take a look at that. So the foot plate has an arrow and then the pad has an arrow. So for example, we are gonna be using the front crossbar. We're installing the front crossbar. You want the pad facing forward and then the arrow facing out. So then once those are all aligned in that spot, you just clip them together. So now we're gonna clip that foot plate into the tower. Notice again where that arrow is facing and then just slide that tower into your crossbar. Let's put it upside down and make it easier to see. Now for how far apart you need to put those towers, well, you're gonna have a measurement on your instructions and then you're gonna use the included measurement strip here. Pop that into your crossbar and then line your tower up right where to that number should be. That's where you're going to tighten down using the included tool. With all that in place, you are now ready to put this onto your roof. So just gently place them in the general area and then take your measurements. 
For the front crossbar, it's going to be 7 and 7 8 inches from the door jamb. So we're going to line that arrow up there on each side. But once you have it lined up on both sides, you're then going to put the hook in. And remember, each hook is different for the front and the rear. And make sure that's threaded in loosely. So try to evenly tighten it down, meaning I like to go about 50% on one side and 75% on the other. That way I don't pull the entire roof rack one way to the other. Once you're tightened down on both sides, and you'll know because there is a torque setting on your tool, you tighten down and it flattens out, and then you can be able to slam the door on it, no problems. So your final step is just to put the end caps on. So your crossbars are going to have end caps. This is a time to replace them with the metal lock cores if you got them. And then your towers have end caps too. These have included locks and keys. And once you've done that for all four of them, then you are now ready to load up your crossbars and go because you are done with the install. So my personal thoughts about the Rhino Rack Roof Rack system is while it can be a little tricky the first time to install it, hopefully I, this video was able to guide you through that process, especially with the millimeters, it can be difficult being off by a little bit on each side. But you do have your included security tools. I do recommend upgrading to the metal lock course. Comparing this with some other brands though, if you have Thule or Yakima accessories, you might want the roof rack to match. I still think the Rhino Rack is a solid choice. Got great weight capacity, looks good, super sporty, great option for your sedan. And that right there was a look at the Rhino Rack roof rack for your 2019 Ford Fiesta sedan.